Hello everybody, my name is Kist, and welcome to City Skylines 2! Today, I have something very exciting to share with all of you. Myself, along with three other YouTubers, SuperXG, Pretzel, and Gamer20, are all pairing up to start a collaborative series called Collaborative County. In this series, we are all going to be sharing the same save file, the same city, between the four of us. And we are going to be building on top of it episode after episode. I am doing the second episode in the series, and if you want to figure out what is going on in the first episode, I encourage you to go over to SuperXG's channel and watch his episode on starting the series and everything else. We are currently not in the save right now, but let us go ahead and transition over and we can look at what Super left us. And here we are, everybody. Oh. Oh. Let's be honest, this is probably not what your first thinking a city is gonna look like. In my opinion, I see a cloverleaf, I see one, two, three, and four. But that's okay, I was actually talking with Super about this, and I got the go ahead to change some things. He kind of did it to troll me and um, see what I would do with it and just get my reaction for it. All I gotta say is, <sighs> all right. To help set the premise for everything, we all gave ourselves an hour to build. I'm not building just yet, let's get out of photo mode and everything and just take a look around. We have our industry section over here and it seems like residential and commercial on this side. A little bit of a sunken highway. I will admit though, this actually looks very, very clean. I like that a lot. And we just have some interesting things. I actually like this little sneaky path. It's pretty cool and a nice park. But like I said, Super did give us the go ahead to actually completely redo it. And I think we can work with this and do some stuff. We're in the down on our money because the services. But he actually did a really good job getting it really close. Probably because we're not too big. If I bump up the taxes, I wonder. Maybe we'll see it change a decent amount. I don't know. But we got to work on it. We only have our hour. I have a timer ready. And what I'm going to be doing is focusing on the road network, just creating a road infrastructure. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to remove everything, and it's not going to be a good time. We do have 12 tiles to unlock, but I'm not going to use all of them so we can give it to Mr. Pretzel, and he'll be able to use it and decide on his own. But without further ado, let's start the timer and begin building. And we are off. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna buy tiles. I wanna pause the game and buy tiles. In my mind, we have a barrier island and I live in Florida. And the way this group of island is set up right now, it reminds me a lot of Miami. And I'm gonna be using that for my source of inspiration when it comes to this map in this area. The first thing I see is we need some form of corridor going but down the length of the island. Sure, we can have vertical branches, but the most dominating thing is going to be our collectors and arterials that go long ways down the island. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy, we'll, we'll do four. We'll do four tiles of this sort in case I want to extend down and curve. We do have a rail, but it's up there on the mainland, so we're not going to worry about rail infrastructure right off the bat. What I'm going to do is focus on the actual road infrastructure. And I want to take inspiration out of the city of Tampa. One of the highways or the interstates, I-275, really State Road 60, the interstate, or the toll road, it meshes down into a arterial Kennedy Boulevard. And I'm going to get rid of this. I don't think we even have highways, do we? No. I wonder, can we get them? Yes. All right, cool. I'm gonna use, that's the only tile points I'm gonna use for this entirety of it. It's outside the city limit, so I can't worry about the highway there. But I think he has a good idea. We're gonna use this. Unfortunately, we're gonna completely wipe out our population. What did it cost? Everything. So for the time being, I am not gonna start the save again. I'm a little at an impasse right now. We have two lanes from the bridge, so it makes sense that they converge into two lanes. I don't think changing it would be beneficial. I can do that, but I don't like how that's curving. So 
We'll line it up and curve it directly into it. Same thing here, we're gonna take it from this side and curve it directly into it. However, if you just flip the direction, bam, look at that. We wanna get rid of the crosswalk. We don't want any, any stoplights there. So just be a free flowing. We don't wanna cross, the highway just goes straight into it. Very nice. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade like crazy these roads. This, there's nothing wrong with trees. What if I just don't want trees, how about that? All right, cool. This is for the time being. I'm not gonna be so focused on the decorating. I'm gonna leave that to some of the other people to actually do some of the decorations and just the aesthetics design. Again, I am gonna be focusing like crazy on road network. And the first thing I'm establishing is our arterial. This is the road that is connected directly to the highway and it's going to function as an artery uh, an artery for our county. So the th thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend this. Okay, very nice. We have our main artery of the city. Now, in my mind, I think it would be good to establish three arteries going long ways because everything is about connection. What's going to cause the most grief for our citizens is a lack of connection. So I'm going to establish one artery going this way. I don't care about grids just yet. We're not gonna worry about it. I think it might be good to have a lower one here. We're not gonna worry about it. We have our main artery here, and then I think we'll have one perpendicular, starting from right here, going west. At least I think this is west. Very cool. And then we're gonna have some lower tier, I think just another locale. We'll wait to establish our grid first. But now we're breaking away from the clover leaf and we're just focusing on our road network. I see this landfill, let's look at the wind. Where's the wind blowing? And it's blowing down the stream. So we wanna put our industries over here. Eventually, I think we're gonna have a port. So I might set up the infrastructure to make a port here. And if we can have our industry sector, then the wind will be blowing away from the rest of the city down there. So I'm gonna set up our industry area over here. Maybe we can put a little bit of a forestry tail here. Now, fun fact a little bit about me as I'm, I'm just working. One, one of the things that I did is I studied civil engineering and one thing we talk about in, as a civil engineer is roadway hierarchy. And cars function differently depending on the roads they're traveling on. And it's a very prevalent feature that I'm gonna use advantage of here. When it comes to these larger four lane roads, we're gonna have stores, maybe, basically we wanna have little, as least, I should say the least amount of intersections on this road. The least amount of intersections on this road. You can see here, we have our main arterial and another arterial and then a collector. So I might put more intersections here versus directly to this one because it's just gonna cause conflicts along the way. So the least amount of intersections I can have, the better. I'm gonna use that fully to my advantage. Unfortunately, I just eminent domained all of that and I'm kind of becoming a tyrant I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. But I am doing this for the better of the city. Let's see, we don't want that. Very nice. And I think you can see what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna conform it to this road here. So let's pick a nice straight piece. Okay, very nice. That's a, basically right on the border of those tiles. That's gonna maximize the amount of space we can use. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drag this out and just build a grid. Let's see, well, we can conform this. I think the bigger the grid, the better, because we're all worrying about intersections. We'll go with that. The grid's it's acting a little weird here, but now instead of having, let's see how many ribs, we can actually just do connections like, oh, like that, there we go. We have one big area, but now we have two different connections into it. And it'll get even better. I'm gonna space this out pretty well. I'm gonna do every other road comes in contact with it. Boom. So now you can see we actually have two different overlapping grids. And it actually works pretty well. It allows some variety. Now I'm just gonna do this for a majority of it. We're gonna clean it up and I'm gonna start our infrastructure. We have some weird shapes going on, so it's gonna prove a challenge. Maybe we can create a park in one of these abstract shapes. And I think we'll be good. So let's just get some progress done and work on the road network.
Awesome, very, very nice indeed. I'm actually a really big fan of how this is turning out. And if you're probably questioning, wait, Kist, why are you leaving such big areas? Well, if I actually take maybe my school, you can see it takes up a lot of space. If I add one of the extensions to it, the football field is also taking a lot of space, but it takes up actually the space quite well. And I like it on the side. It's not going to be here going to our local road. Very, very nice. But if we actually look at the hierarchy of roads, we have our main big arteries, if you will. And we have a smaller collector that feeds into it. So it's like another small artery. It just collects all the local roads. Here we have one, two, three, four connections on this road. Very small, very minimal versus one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six on this road. Then, one, two, three, four, five, six, just a lot. So very, very neat so far. We do have some wiggle room. I can also put an elementary school on this one right here into the corner. Very nice. So that way it takes up the space a little, little bit. What I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna put a park in here. I think a good use of the space is to wiggle on the backside. Maybe we can add the additions to the school while we're here, just in case. Maybe I want to add both the extensions and call it good. And we can add a playground here on the side. Oh, awesome. Very nice. But now you can see with the full expansion of the schools, they take up a decent amount of space. But from here, again, I'm going to use this to make a park, put some extra things. I think that'll be nice. I'm going to do very, very minimal zoning just so our population doesn't tank back to zero. I'm going to try to keep it up to 1500 and let's just go back into it and work on the road layout just a little bit more. And the updated road network is complete. The only thing I didn't get rid of originally was this little bridge here. And I'm currently at 26 minutes left. I don't know why I said it like that. I only have 26 minutes left. I think we got a lot done. I think this is gonna be my portion of the city. I'm not gonna build over here because maybe they have different styles. Maybe they can add some cool things. But in terms of connectivity, I think I'm really happy with this. We have another arterial or collector road start. The junctions here, it can make well, it branches up here after windowing down to a one lane. Oh, I think I want to make this a cul-de-sac now that I look about it. Yeah, so in terms of building, I think I'm going to be done, but let's actually get some stuff zoned. Again, I have one, two, three, four, five. Five and six, five and a half main arterials that are connecting everything together. And you can see I have smaller areas within them and even little cul-de-sacs using the little roundabouts. We won't be able to zone here at the end, but we can maybe be able to place some decorations and just fill the space. One thing I am keeping in mind is again the wind. Everything is blowing this way, so putting the industri industrial stuff here is going to be really beneficial for us. But I'm trying to stick tr true to the terrain and leave plenty of space we can actually build on either side. We have industry. We have a lot of demand for low residential. This is going to take a bunch of our time. Now I hope you can see we're making a lot, a lot of use of the space. We have a decent amount of industrial. We do need to get electric, blah, blah, electricity back in here. So we're gonna put our, we'll put it here. Okay. Next thing you know, we'll make this go out of the way until otherwise. Hang on. Cross the river. There you go. I don't like how. Let's see if I can evenly connect it. There we go. It's a little bit more believable. All right, we'll go with that. Just maybe want more space down there. We do want to place a hospital near a collector, so we'll put it 
Uh, we'll put it in this space, I think. Yeah. We're gonna dezone this. And we're gonna build up our hospital real quickly. Yeah, that, that's fine. We can put our townhouses behind it. Very, very nice. The next thing we need is some garbage. Maybe we can make this landfill island. Make this entire thing a landfill. That will work out because I can replace this bridge. Awesome, 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 awesome. Everything is going our way, so we'll make a landfill here. And we'll zone out just a decent amount of the island. There we go. Very nice. And what? Yeah, we don't need that yet, but that, that's that's a good amount right there. We'll have a lot of processing. It can go directly into there. What are you crying about? Oh, right, our sewage. How could I forget? We had to put our water and sewage back. Okay, very nice. So we have power. Um, we have our zoning ready to go. Let's see. Water we don't have yet. Let's see, it looks like the water's being carried out. It'd be good to put it here. I'm trying to think where it'd be the best place to put our outgoing sewage. Could probably go right there and we can connect it directly to the end of our road right there. I think we're all good to hit play. Let's just watch what happens. Everything's gonna hit the fan. Oh, how did I forget police station? Here we go. So now let us watch the fireworks happen as we hit space bar. We are taking a hit in a lot of regards. We're good on everything else, I think. Might be good to put a fire station over here in the industrial, just in case stuff does go bad, and we'll do that right there. Um, waste management, we're good. Food, water, oh, graveyard, how could I forget it? I think we'll put the cemetery right here. Just a nice spot, takes up the space pretty nicely. And so far, so good. Now we just let everything go. They want high density residential. Uh oh, did the same thing here, I think. I think we'll just put apartments. And so far, so good. One thing I'm gonna be watching, we have 14 tiles. We could do a lot more, but it'd be unfair for me to start spending all of them. And we're almost out of time. I think we have 14 minutes left. So with our time remaining, I am gonna add some parks and just have a good old time. And voila, everybody. I think that's gonna mark everything complete. A rather short episode, I think, today. If you guys want to know more, or if you'd like me to cover specific things, either in City Skylines 2 or just maybe city building in general. Oh my god, what is... Oh my gosh, what is happening here? <laughs> Alright. I think the last thing we can do is maybe just double check our services and make sure we're providing everything. I'm currently in the economy menu because I'm seeing that we have a big deficit and we're not doing too, too good. We could do it alone, but it's not going to help. You can see we're it's going down, but we're losing a lot of money still. It's because we're not creating enough production. I know Mr. Pretzel is very, very, very adamant about that. We could do a logging industry. I think I'm going to tell him about it just to make sure he can stay on top of it. But we are eating a lot of money in our services, which is not the best. It's not the ideal scenario. But let's just do a little recap and we can be done. What we have so far is we have one, two, three, four, five, and six collectors, arteries, whatever you think. They're our main passageway in the city. We're doing it a North American style. And as you can see, we're basically gearing up for the city to be built this way. And we're keeping our industrial and heavy duty stuff down here. Maybe we can have a casino or tourist district down here by the coast. But I think we can also see a highway connecting down the beach. I think it's a very, very good upgrade from what we had before. No offense to Mr. Super. I'm seeing that we have a need for low residential. So I'm going to pause the game and zone all of this. However, I do not want all of it to be zoned. The red are, is basically saying, hey, don't build here, which I understand. We're going to leave that unzoned. And we're basically just going to fill in all these slots. I think it's going to be very nice to have homes, especially the land value is going to be huge. We have a lot of points, a lot of tiles, but I think we're good for right now. It's very manageable. I think Mr. Pretzel is going to like this. I am going to extend this down because I do want him to see that this road should connect down lower. 
we are working on a very discreet basis. We're not going to share everything and about everything with each other, but we are just creating a nice, nice city, I think, for them to work with. I did do a little homage to Mr. Super here by creating this nice squiggly looking path, definitely designed by an architecture or an architect, not an engineer, as we're just going for the nice long scenic function of everything. No fancy bridges, don't need any of that, but we just have connecting up to our intersection so people can cross accordingly. Overall, a very, very nice city and a very fun build and challenge for us to take on. Let's take a one final look at the traffic. Now that is actually very, very, very good. We're kind of there in the middle. It seems like we're doing pretty well. Heck, it doesn't seem like... I think it's going to go up over time. Let's actually slow this down. I shouldn't be on three times speed. That's my B. But I'm going to hit save and I think we'll be done, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And if you made it this far, I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and want to see more City Skylands content, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and you'll stay up to date on more of this content. All right, everybody. Uh-oh. Dying? <gasps> no! That's an interesting note. I think <laughs> we'll call it there, everybody. My name's Kist, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.